Hey everyone, so this is the final book review of the Life is Strange comics. I'm so sad to see it come to an end, but there is other Life is Strange books coming out this year and there is another one that I have, so the franchise or the world of Life is Strange is not over, but unfortunately with Chloe and Max I think it is over in this one. So this is the final book of Settling Dust and obviously we have the beautiful artwork of the comic and I will read you the blurb. In the eye of the storm lies Max Caulfield's only chance to cross reality and find her way home but to be with Chloe Price she, lo she loves. Max will need to say goodbye to the friends who gave her everything to help them reunite. Um, so this is following on from the BAFTA winning video game Life is Strange where Max sacrificed Arcadia Bay in order to save Chloe and this is their adventures on from that in comic book form. So in this book this is basically about Max getting home and in order to get home to her original timeline she needed to have Tristan who is a boy who can turn invisible and he has an ability so he helps Max to get home. And then, um, sorry I've lost my train of thought, it happens a lot. Yeah, so in this book this is mainly Max getting home and she kind of does and we have some really cool artwork so I'm going to try and find some as I talk to you. Steph makes an appearance in this book as um, working on stage because obviously they were having music and they were having um, the High Seas play and they were having the Hamlet which Rachel was acting in. And in here we have the storm where Max finally manages to get back and finally manages to see Chloe again so she gets back into her original timeline. So this is the final book and I really like this one because a lot happens in this one where we have Alyssa comes back and Chloe shows within the two years Chloe actually and the high seas raised money for a community product community charity thing to raise money for the what two whale diner i put white the whale diner but it's two whale diner my bad um for the two whale diner so she manages to make the money within the two years max has gone and as a side product as a side project sorry she rebuilds the rail diner, a garage, and then also she builds an apartment for her and Max. So now that Max is back in her original reality, obviously Chloe is going to give her a guided tour of the two rail diner and the apartment. And obviously Alyssa comes into the book as well. As we see here, she's a volunteer and she helps with the product and she's lost a lot. So we have Chloe and Max and the door. And then obviously Tristian is dating Lawrence as well. So there's some really cute things in there. And obviously Victoria Chase offered Max the chance to have a space at the gallery. Um, but Max did not want her name or any credit given to her so she got her place um, so Victoria managed to get her gallery spot with uh, Max with Max's pictures and there's a sweet little thing where Chloe and Max are going through photos and they find a dear Max rosemary photo which is obviously a photograph of them three in the in, a, in the other universe and obviously it makes Chloe very very happy to see that. We then have the vigil where everyone gets involved and they have a vigil of remembrance for the Arcadia of Bay and the victims which again was such a nice ending to the story and Max makes a really good speech about Arcadia Bay and it basically ends with this vigil. So it was a really nice end to the end of the story. And as a bonus, we have the True Colours com comic of Alex um, basically getting on the bus to go and see her brother Gabe. 
and she talks to these people and obviously she's got that ability where she can pick up on emotions and she can kind of see colour. Um, so that was a really nice little bonus story. <clears throat> and I've, yeah, I don't think that needed, I don't think that's saying it's going to be continued. And then we have some more graphics in the background and obviously there's the other book. So it was such a beautiful ending. Um to these comics i'm so sad to not be reading them anymore i will probably do a reread again in the future when the new comics are out just to do everything back to back but i'm so sad that this journey is over and yeah it was the best journey and i have all of the life is strange um games and books up to date now so yeah